you will find in front of you a scape, which is meant to suggest snow, white, uh, etc. It can also be, if you wish, anybody wishes to do this as a strange still life, go for it. Um, and I'm referring to these white, different whites with one little punctuation, I think, and the glass. Um, so it could be a very peculiar still life, um, and or it could be just a study of whites, um, whatever. The, the general thing for today is thinking about snow, thinking about winter. I have a thousand photographs, some of them the wonderful photographs of Sue Yardman. And I have over here a few uh, references um, just to mention. And um, uh, well, let me start with this one point, Maureen's point, um, which is uh, that, you know, how she was saying how she, looking out in her, you know, ordinary suburban neighborhood that you think, um, you know, so what is this, this, this you know, vinyl siding barn next to me and the da 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 and, and hydrant and um, the snow plow sticking out, whatever. Um, you know, these are boring, mundane, um, common, sometimes industrial things that um, you could think, this isn't, as you said, it's not Mont Saint Victoire. Right, that's what I'm always like, why don't I have a mountain out my back door to paint and so I have my neighbor's garage? And the, the really big, interesting gift of snow, I think, is um, that it gives you uh, punctuation because there are the dark things like trees, a little piece of a, your car that you could still see, um, a person, um, a cat. These are from the old newspaper you might recognize. And um, so those things give you one a, a focus point, and they give you this always very beguiling um, issue, which is contrast and um, you know a dark or a color. Uh, with with the snow. Um, if you look at this, um, was this still in there? Yeah, William Zorak, um, 1960. Um, this is a painting which is a tree. It is a tree with suggestions of light and this marvelous, maybe one of the things that one just sort of thinks, that is great, giving that, that whole architecture with the snow heap on the branches. And this is a, a piece I did ages ago. I have Megan in mind for some reason uh, with this. Um, it was, oh, I know what. It was a tree. It was on Union Street when we were at the Duke Street facility. And um, I was trying to prove that you could do a picture of nothing. And it would be kind of interesting. Um, in fact, I think I started like that. And here was this tree. It was a beautiful day when we were had class after a big snow. And all the things that just were interesting to point out of the, the way snow gathers, the long branches, um, the punctuation, a trash can um, with the color punch um, are all things that are fun, interesting for the eye. And so that was one of those things. Um, again, uh, your suburban, ordinary uh, thing. Birchfield made a feast out of snow. He was a very northern-eyed person, except when he became very spiritual and he went into another zone, another climate. Uh, but the, you know, these sort of workers' uh, small houses with with the pads, with the dug pads, with the I think that wonderful thing, you know, which just was like so many people's pathways if you had that kind of thing. Again, making this something out of so-called nothing. Um, plus, these really are personalities. I mean, you can't deny that. Um, so just, you can look at all of these different things. I did a few um, sample things from some photographs, and I just want to talk about what or why one might be drawn to a photograph. You may be constitutionally against working ever with a photograph, which is fine. Um, or 
you may be interested in doing what I suggest, which is working upside down from a photograph. Um, and if you haven't ever done that, that can be very interesting and fun. Um, but let me just say one other thing, um, uh, which is finding color, color, atmosphere, and mood in, in uh, snow. This was in the post, uh, a person, trees. Um, I mean, you might all, on the face of it, say, wow, I, I think it's a wonderful picture anyway. I mean, I want you both sort of be thinking, oh, there's nothing there. But of course, I think everyone is saying, you know, that's kind of a neat picture. It is a marvelous extension of values because you're, you have the snow still falling, and so you're going back into this sort of hushed, here's where words come again, uh, and still falling, and I think all of us will remember that blizzard part of our, of our blizzard, um, you know, where sound comes in. Um, so this is my rendition of it, which I did upside down. When I turn this upside down, um, <coughs> I saw more color. And that is, I mean, it's, it's not exactly what I did do here, but it was, um, it is more color than, uh, than I thought it was, you know, I thought it was a black and white picture, which it is in a way a black and white picture, but there is color, there is, there's a sensation of light and a knowledge of what that means and how you're going back into it. So all of a sudden I picked up on just playing with really emphasizing that, the warmth that comes through, the, you know, the light that is, is coming through, even though it's still blizzarding, that's a word. Um, so that's another big point to me. One about this little exercise is doing it upside down, but the other about when snow scenes, what comes out and gives a mood. Um, this is Kim Stenberg, who many of you know. What's her last name? Kim Stenberg. Stenberg. Yeah, she's, uh, I think, mostly doing acrylic and oil now. Yeah, but my, I haven't seen her for years. But uh, she, she was in this class some quite a long time ago. But you could see she really picked up on that wonderful pink, glow, 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 uh, transparent apparel orange, or plus a little. Uh, from it rose, which brings me to this, and this, and this, which is again the color and finding these uh, color in in uh, what even if there isn't a bright red apple sitting in the snow, there is color that's seeping out, and you can exaggerate it or you can step it down. Uh, this is another um, made up one. This is made up. Um, I put these up. I've talked about this before, I'm not going to go into it again, but I love, I love the whole issue of this, which is, this is a painter uh, named Daisy Craddock, wonderful name, um, who did a number of paintings, these are oil, or pa oil pastel um, on paper, and they get their meaning and their um, punch and their everything else, interpretation, from, very much from their titles. This is called Golden Beat. And once you know the title, you can apply that and sort of start seeing beat in there. Uh, this is called cucumber something, cucumber. <laughs> once you know that, it takes on a different, um, I mean, it could be a Gerhard Richter. It could be uh, a lot of things. So I am going to take, okay, let's see what I have here. I have Aurelian, quinacridone gold, a yellow light. I think I'll take a little of that um, and just give it a little. Um, but now, from now on, uh, transparent. Here's the, here's this famous transparent pearl orange, which basically I I call a in the burnt sienna family. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just as I almost would call, I mean, or it bends towards that from an orange, mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, uh, already, actually, just while I'm yammering around, it has dried a little bit yeah. more than I want, uh, but I'm going to, um, 
then use gravity. I can see it's, this is real. I'm going to have to re-wet this. And then again, this is why every single painting, I mean, whether it's a practice demo or something, is both a learning thing to, to me. I mean, if I'm, I'm learning something new. Or it is also a um, responding. But with a, a cold pressed paper, uh, um, that will happen. There is a linen-y, mm -hmm. silky quality to this mm -hmm. paper, which, mm -hmm. again, I'm going to burst into tears, um, which you can never, you'll never be able to duplicate because it doesn't exist. But um, it, if only it did. What paper is it? Fabriano, the original Fabriano Artistico. It's not made anymore. And you, it's not made anymore. There are others very... There, uh, the so, Fabriano Artistico uh, soft press is similar, but not exactly. Is that 140 or 300? This is 300. While I am going to start putting a few little... Dark. Yep, and I'm going to start using my, and this may look a little bit random, what I'm doing, but it's not. <laughs> um, and what see, color is that? This is mostly carbazole violet with a uh, green gold. Whoops, now that I didn't necessarily want, but I do want uh, where, places where the, uh, where it's dried more than, yeah, I uh, that's that. fine. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to get a little more atmosphere, like mm. just a, a, a warm light that carries not so much green as it's carrying light. Right, I can um, and, you know, if I were doing this in my own quiet of my studio, um, I would be being more observant and, mm -hmm. and not talking because <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't talk mm -hmm. there. And um, so I would probably not be do have to do what I'm doing now, which is yeah, uh, re-wet. Yeah, you're going over. But the, on the other hand, um, so much of that is can be uh, the accidents of, yeah. of that, yeah. and you can suddenly think, I'm getting a much better. Um, you know, let's, let's just see. I'm going to get a sort of free mass. Um, mm -hmm. But if you re-wetting, if you don't re-wet, you know, uh, the whole part there, you're going to get a stop, um, and it, and the um, which you may you may want, but mm -hmm. you want to you want to con kind of control. We take a little blue, maybe. This is ultramarine. Maybe with a little. So I have a neutral here. I'm going to just. Do you and getting some imperfections in here, uh, <laughs> it can be kind of. I'll try to go for a few more, being a little bit more daring. Uh, you know, you start getting real tree stuff happening. Um, I, I don't know, I'm just going to leave this. This was, yeah, as you may yeah, have yeah. seen, was a, a dry <laughs> spot. I don't know if I'm going to want that, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, yeah. There's some degree of fixing that you can always go back to. And, and so that's why, as a, as a game, sort of almost yeah. doing yeah. something with one of these yeah. uh, photographs yeah, or, is, a, is a wonderful way to say, respond to what's happening on the paper. Don't have it fixed in your head that you want, you know, you're, say you're working from a photograph or you're working from nature. Say, I want it to be just like this. Right. When you if, you, if you were to continue with, something like this. Um, here's where you, I, I'll just do, this is probably how I would um, do the, the animals. I would just, I would, I, I wouldn't be actually, there wouldn't be much need to be doing this upside down, but um, I'm doing it. 
and then, again, um, get some ra do a little radical stuff. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the end of the day, cows coming home. Uh, what about you know just getting that light that hits? Um, maybe even just almost along, mm. sometimes almost evaporates the ear of the cow or something because the light's coming through. And then, I wonder what, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, then, mm. there are parts, yeah. uh, but let, let the, um, let the, the water and the paint do their thing. The water and the paint do their thing, yeah. and and trust yeah. trust that um, it can. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. And it, you know, it continues to sort of percolate out. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. If that's the tail. Yeah. That could be enough. Yeah. When it tries, it's going to just have this little halation. Mm -hmm.